How should I feel 25 weeks pregnant? The baby is about a pound and a half in weight. And the uterus is many times that when you take amniotic fluid for it and extra blood into account. You may feel like your stomach is growing way faster than you were used to. Now that the baby is gaining a pound a month. I'm gaining a pound or so a week. And the uterus sticking out that much means you feel like you are carrying a watermelon in front, while it starts to become more comfortable to waddle instead of walk. It is supposed to be the size of a soccer ball right now. Fine, and it is common to feel muscle cramps in the back from carrying that growing load. I have had muscle cramps. You'll also feel the practice contractions called Braxton Hicks contractions. That's normal. It is when the contractions don't stop and get worse or come with blood you need to go to the emergency room. Many women at this point feel pain when they poop due to hemorrhoids. That's one of those things you think only hit old people. There are larger veins in the rear due to the extra 50% of bodily fluids switching around your system, while most women suffer constipation due to dehydration. So constipation plus second trimester equals hemorrhoids. More than half of women at this point develop it. And I just thought varicose veins were bad. You are more likely to develop them around this point for the same reason. More blood in your system plus hormones to relax various tendons and hormones. At least those will go away after I have the baby. The spider veins will go away after you have the baby. Varicose veins may not, and the odds of them occur or getting worse go up with subsequent children. This is our first child. You should be eating a lot of fiber and drinking a lot of water to prevent the hemorrhoids, since that's something you can control and start doing Kegel exercises. I don't see how that helps. It will tighten the pelvic floor muscles so you are less likely to leak pee when you sneeze before or after birth, and it reduces the risk of new piles. That would be way more useful than prenatal yoga. A lot of women get frustrated with their red bleeding gums, due to the extra blood flow in the body. But you need to brush and floss. I've been told to floss twice a day to reduce the bleeding. That was essential plus brushing twice a day when you were throwing up in the morning. Now I just have heartburn. You can reduce that by eating more small meals throughout the day. Or taking things to reduce acid. Most of those are fine when you're pregnant, but medications to control stomach acid you need to talk to the doctor about. Yet another time to sleep waiting for the doctor. If you have started snoring, that can be due to the extra congestion and swelling in the nasal cavities due to hormones. But if it interferes with your sleep itself, you need to talk to the doctor about sleep apnea. Sure, because I'm not supposed to suffer from sleep deprivation until after the baby arrives.